Far too often, we forget how powerful we truly are. I took action with intent on something regarding my healing a couple of weeks ago. And uh, boy, it's kind of been snowballing ever since. So it was about two weeks ago. I For a while, I've had some stuck energy in my lower chakras that I felt. And it's like chronic -y stuff. I've had some weird like abdominal and back and even up into the heart area as well. Just this, this stuck energy. And it's been a chronic type of thing. And I've been breathing into it and doing the work. But then I realized that I could call in a higher aspect of myself to really assist with this. So to give it a lens from a higher frequency perspective. So it's about a week and a half ago, I was laying in bed at night before I went to sleep, feeling this dull aches, this dull pain. And I reached out to my Arcturian guide, which I know is an aspect of me. This aspect came forward right after I awakened and connected with me. And I asked for a healing crystal chamber healing during the night. Okay. So I went to bed. The night seemed uneventful, woke up next morning, but I knew something had shifted. I just felt it deep within that something had changed. Now, about a week after that, noticing things starting to get a little bit better, I started to experience a purge. And this started about four days ago. I started to feel tightness in my chest. I started to feel like I was getting this ascension flu. That's exactly what it felt like. So the healing triggered on a deep, deep cellular level, a release of energy that I started to experience as an ascension type flu. So it was like in my lungs, it was like in my solar plexus, in my back, I just started to feel this energy start to release this density. And my chest started to get tight. I started to get a cough. I was basically on the couch for like the last three days, up until today. Today's the first day where I really feel like um, I am clearing a lot of this dense energy that was released as a result of this healing that I, in fact, had initiated with my intention. The interesting thing, though, is I was going through these symptoms, and basically my body is saying, just rest, slow it down, chill, and rest. So I didn't do a whole lot of anything over the past few days. And mind you, this is coming up to the you know eclipse energy. So we've got the eclipse portal energy happening. We have Mercury retrograde. So I reach out and ask for this healing with all this stuff stacked. And sure enough, I was feeling the effects of it. But throughout the effects of this purge and feeling really crappy and having a fever spike, actually, to a fever that I haven't had in a long time. I was like up around 102 at times. I had this underlying sense of energy moving through me, which was really, really interesting. Before this purge, I was feeling really fatigued. I was really feeling like worn down. And during this purge, even though I was feeling physically ill as I was experiencing these symptoms, I noticed or had an awareness that I wasn't as tired. I had energy moving again. And that brought me right back to the fact that I had requested this deep cellular healing by my Arcturian guide. And that is in fact what I received. So I think we have a lot of beliefs that when we request a healing, that it's going to be an instantaneous event just like that. Now we're here as the human experiencing life based on a time-space reality. So we experience sequences of events. So I requested at that time, I guess not to be healed specifically, but a healing. So therefore, I manifested an experience of healing, okay? So I was going through this purge. It started with this chamber, right? And then it started with this release as this energy started to release this density. I started to experience these ascension symptoms, this ascension flu, right? Going through a healing process, exactly what I had asked for. And all of that led up to today, which as of recording this, is the day of the solar eclipse. So this video is a reminder to you of how powerful you truly are. If you can remember that you have aspects of you 
that exist in multiple different dimensions, different frequency bandwidths, you can call in those aspects into this physical vessel, into your body, and allow yourself to work the magic that these higher frequencies, that this divine light can bring to your human experience. So don't sell yourself short if you're feeling a little bit off before you think, you know, and entertain old ways of thinking. Think about how powerful you are and allow yourself to go down that road and navigate a healing experience from a higher frequency perspective. It's truly life-changing. Like I said, I feel energy is being restored, energy that I haven't felt in a long, long time, even though I've been feeling not so great physically, energetically, I've noticed a huge difference. You are so, so powerful. It's time you embrace how powerful you are and let your amazing divine light go to work for you in this human experience. This video resonated with you. Watch this one next. Thank you so much.